racist. Coach yeah. my growth. Yeah. And anybody can be coached. <clears throat> I was coached the entire time. Shout out to all my coaches. Mm -hmm. um, people were teaching me as I was planning the event all the time. Like I was working with so many people. Oh, yeah. You're welcome with Sir Quentin Best. Of the best entertainment. Best of the best entertainment presets. Your feature presentation. What up, Milwaukee? Yo, what's going on? It's your boy Sir Quinn from Best of the Best TV, where we keep our eyes and our ears open for local, global, up and coming and established artists. Today, we got a likewise in the building, man. Hey. My fellow podcaster. Hey. Can you firmly introduce yourself? I'm Kenda Kwaman. Um, Make sure you get the mic up on you too. Oh, sure. Yeah, you can pull it. You can pull it up too. Yeah, oh, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, and firmly introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Kenda Kwaman. Thanks for having me. No, like, thank you for real. having me. I'm, 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 I'm really happy to be here. <laughs> right. I'm, I'm happy to have you here. Awesome. So, um, so I yeah, mean, tell us, tell us a little bit about uh, about yourself and, and what you got going on. Like the floor is yours right now. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. Well, I am an entrepreneur, um, and a podcaster, as you mentioned. Yep. Um, I have a lot of passion when it comes to like helping others. Um, and so I also have a um a program that I started called Coach My Growth. Um, so I'm just doing all those things simultaneously, um, as a way to give back and also to, to learn more about like what success looks like and how to do me in the best version of me. So. Yeah. This is a long overdue interview <laughs> right here. Damn it. So, so tell us, okay, you kind of smoothed over this. So tell us a little bit of, uh, about your passions. Well, we know about the, well, I know about the podcast yeah. and I, and so tell us a little bit about some of these passions of yours yeah yeah so coach my growth i just had my second event october 15th at sherman phoenix um it was sponsored by um tone deaf radio and a couple others um yeah and um shout out to tone that's <laughs> shout out to tone what up boy yeah yeah that's with greedy studios um tone deaf pod right. um so um yeah, so it was sponsored by him and a few others. Um, I'll shout those folks out too, because I feel weird if I didn't. Yeah, facts. <laughs> <laughs> um, Golden Path, uh, Home Care uh, sponsored me, Fight Triple A, um, Brewery Credit Union, BMO Harris Bank. Um, wow. Yeah, and Motivational Minds LLC sponsored me for that event. Wow. Yeah, I had 23 vendors in the building. Whoa, uh, <laughs> let me touch the hand of a god is hold oh hold oh <laughs> what? okay that's yeah. green light that's green light so um i mean it sounded like it was a crazy event like how did it, it turn nice. out it was really nice yeah. um yeah i have about 14 coaches on my team mm. and uh when i say coaches these are business owners who are doing well for themselves, who have decided to give back by providing coaching sessions and giving mentorship, in a sense, to local business owners who are facing some type of challenge or some type of pains within their business. Wow. So, yeah, that's where it like kind of originated from for me was like, man, it's a lot of pain when you get the jumping off. Man, you know it's saying? like a baby. Yeah. <laughs> like, for real. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's how that's so funny that you said that. Yeah. Cause I was just saying that to a friend of mine. I'm like, I swear it's like Coach My Growth is like this baby and everybody's nurturing it to make sure Ooh. that it, it stays alive, right? Yes. So um yeah, it's a really safe space. What they um, say, it take a village. Yeah, it definitely. <laughs> takes you got a village, a village to yeah. raise this baby. So <laughs> we okay, we gonna we gonna we gonna bring it back a little okay. bit because like we we talking about like the the, the heartache, the pain, and mm -hmm. and the grind. So right. like, what keeps you motivated? Like, how you like, what make you like? Let me let me keep this pushing. Like, yeah, yeah. I would say it comes from. Um, me not wanting to be that scared person anymore that sees all this potential in me and things that I really want to do and letting the real world just kind of like 
scare me with that i'm just like you know what is i'm mm. done with that you know fear cannot control the things that you want out of life and so um as a way to control that and you know put effort into the things i really want um i knew it was it was important um that i just start the process yeah. so i had conversations with folks folks linked me with other folks taught me the power of networking it really is powerful yeah. um it's, it's not always about what you know it's who you know yes. like so many lessons that i've learned this year um I, you know it was just like look you got to help other people too you got to help them understand like Man. this is normal Facts. You know? so Facts. and you don't gotta know it all but no. we got some folks that can help you yeah you know? what so, i don't know he know or she know yeah or yeah. they know yeah. <laughs> we were using pronouns <laughs> right <laughs> but uh definitely y'all we kicking it with kendra man this is a long overrated waited interview y'all stay tapped in we're gonna have this short commercial break yeah ladies and gentlemen we are now available on roku tv again we are pleased to announce that we are on the a and r app on roku tv make sure y'all go support it's spelled t-h-e capital a lowercase a n d uppercase r no spaces please go check that out again it's capital t lowercase h e uppercase a lowercase a n d uppercase r no spaces the a and r all one word thank you for your support go check that out yeah of the best entertainment shut up and hustle Yo, thanks for still tapping in. We're kicking it with Kenda. It's Kwame. How you spell it? Let me say your last name. Kwame. Kwame. Okay, yeah. Kwame. Okay, I ain't want to say it wrong. Like, I got, I got, a, little, got a little twang with my... With my. So, <laughs> what made you start the podcast? Got to man. man, for one, I, <laughs> man, I, I like people. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm, I'm like an extroverted introvert. Yeah. So, like... I like conversations <laughs> of substance. Yeah, facts, facts. And if I feel like the conversation can lead me to deeper relationships with people, then so be it. Man, right? Better talk. So that's why I podcast because I it attracts those types of individuals yes, naturally. Lord. I don't have to seek them out. They it comes yeah, to you yeah. when you have a platform that's safe and it has a a place of meaning for folks. Yes. So that's why I started minding my own podcast. Um hey. man, I I love doing the show. Before I started the show, which I've been doing it for six months now. Mm -hmm. Um, before I started the show, I did like this podcast tour. And I was on a couple of different podcasts. <laughs> Wait. I says no one video. ever. Yeah. <laughs> a podcast tour. I did a tour. <laughs> Um, and the funny thing is I was promoting Coach My Growth on those podcasts. Yes, you was moving over to the next question because yeah. I wanna I wanna know about this, but keep talking, keep talking, yeah. keep talking. <laughs> so I, I had the opportunity to sit down with the Shine Your Light podcast, um, with Lachelle Hooks. Yeah. I got to sit down with um Sarita Valmon. Uh, they all in a group too, ain't yeah, they? Yeah, 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 and that's the, that's that's. Yeah, the talking about the group too. too. We kind of smoothed over there. We can't smooth. We can't. You gotta let the viewers know what the group is too, though. Oh well, I was. It's the Tom Dave Pod yeah, Radio. Yeah, yeah. You know, like, mm -hmm. um, he got Tom got plenty of podcasters on yeah, that network, um, and everybody got their own uniqueness. So I love that. Yes, Lord. But I did tell him that too. Like when I came on board, I'm like, man, it's important to me that I can collaborate with other podcasters. Right. How dope is it that I the Milwaukee's like one of the the top um cities that broadcasts and has um hosts from the black community podcasting yes. like. That's Man, huge. Man, that's here. Let me let me touch that. that that's like, huge. That's that's that is huge. That's I'm like, huge. I gotta have my part. Like, in that. Just, let me get up in this. <laughs> oh man, y'all watch out. Hold on. Let me in. Yes. <laughs> let me yes. get up in here. We just seen DJ that's on there, man. You know, shout out DJ. That yes. was that was big. That was big. Yeah, so, she's sweet. Okay. How? Let's talk about the co coach my growth. Okay. 
I ain't even gonna ask. I, I'm not even gonna put that in question form because that's your baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna let you have the floor with that one. Like, yeah, like coach, just tell everybody about the coach, coach Mark Grove. Yeah, so Coach Mark Grove is a program that I am pursuing once a quarter. Um, what it is is it's an opportunity for business owners to come collaborate with other business owners to learn um, through some of their pain points. So, um, wow. for example. You 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 made this with intention. Yeah, it's you a lot of intent. Ooh, keep talking. Keep yeah, talking. <laughs> yeah. Um, Shice. <laughs> <laughs> I started a business with my mom and my sister called Beauty Sleep, mm -hmm. and um, it's a sleepwear business, and we sell women's sleepwear and accessories. And while we were putting that the pieces together to to develop that business i noticed I, I learned so much that i said dang how cool would it be if some people didn't have to go through all this yeah. that i just went through yeah. um or even things that you continue to experience as an entrepreneur mm -hmm. so how cool would it be to have a safe space people know they can look forward to every quarter um and there's this group of professionals and individuals who can teach you what they know yeah. and share resources with you and everybody can say i don't know everything and be okay with that. Like, it's too many people out there scared to admit that they don't know it all. No, this is a safe place to say, look, I don't know that. Or I've been doing this wrong for like the last six years. Yeah. And I know it, but. Yeah, yeah I, I just try to smooth yeah, over it. Yeah, I try to smooth over but I can't do it no more because somebody helped me. Or, yeah. you know, whatever it is, like, you know, I'm struggling with, with getting the right uh, suppliers or um, my boutique not kicking I off. I feel like you're talking about me right now man. or something. <laughs> Man, so, it's so, a place for everybody, man. That's what I'm saying. My God. So uh tell tell like tell us how we how can we figure out well uh so tell the viewers <laughs> <laughs> how can we find more how can we find out about this? Like how can we get involved or whatever, you know? Yeah, so um follow me on social media. Uh right now you can find me on Facebook, Kenda Quoman. Um you can find my page there. You can reach out to me directly. I'm the founder and event coordinator and manager. So um, right now I'm looking for more people for my team. Yeah. So I'm, man, if you either are somebody who's looking to, you know, connect with coaches and find out how you can be involved in this project, please don't hesitate to inbox me. Um, my profile is public, so. <laughs> I'm them. I'm, I'm the people you talking about. <laughs> yeah, in case y'all just now kicking it, we kicking it with Kenda Kwame. I said it right. Yes. Yeah, Kenda, Kenda Kwame, and uh, we got our words segment right after this commercial break. Y'all stay tuned. Yes. For fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D Styles, located inside Salon Solo at 6329 West Greenfield Avenue in beautiful West Dallas, Wisconsin. Book your haircut experience on the Cut App today or call 414-687-3940. Remember, for fresh haircuts, fades, and shaves with a smile, contact Donnie D. Styles. See you soon. If you or someone you know are looking for weekly or consistent hair care, I provide hair services for all hair types, lengths, and styles. Book your next appointment with me, Fine Wine Crystal. You can reach me on Instagram at Fine Wine underscore Ice or on Facebook at Fine Wine Crystal. Thank you. I look forward to working with you soon. All clients must be willing to receive hair service within a shop setting. There will be no chemical services provided at this time. Style lengths and prices vary per client and we're now offering services for clients with tender scalp needs and special needs accommodations. Yo, thanks for still tapping in. We kicking it with Kenda. So before we was going to hop in a word segment, but I just wanted to tell you and that that name, Coach My Growth, is beautiful. Like that's Thank crazy. You. And um the next your next show or whatever that you got going on, like you you saying something behind the scenes that you have like how you set how they say how you set up your show. So like Tell everybody like how you. How oh, you, you mean how I do coach my? Yeah, how you do how you do coach my rope. Okay, yeah yeah, 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 I do it once a quarter. Yeah. So um, I had two this year. The next one I'm shooting for is in March. 
Yeah. The cool part too is we we travel. Yeah. So like the first one we did in Racine, then we did mm. this past one in Milwaukee, and then the next one I'm shooting for Madison. Right. So I want to bring. You said Milwaukee. they got things like this. Tell us about the things. Yeah. yeah. So the things that's dope. That's dope. Thank that's, you. Yeah. So edition one, Coach Margot Phase one, we did it in Racine at this place called Picture Me Selfie Studios. My friend Trené, shout out to Trené, donated the space to me for me to do my first thing. She let me bring my vision to life in her space mm -hmm. um and the cool part is it was all about photography mm -hmm. um we had d heard come from r b um uh photography and videography there doing headshots for folks and then the coolest part was the venue was a selfie studio wow yeah so the goal wow. was to get people to come out and take advantage of this space, not only to get coaching, but to use that space to create branding material for yes. their business. Yes. Um, and so that was my whole thought process behind it is every time I do an event, it has to be something that people need. Yeah. And then your second one what was, was the second one. Yeah. And the second one at Sherman Phoenix that I did, um, it was the vending edition. Jeez. And that's why I had so many vendors. I had 23 vendors in the building. Um, I created these vendor scorecards that had certain criteria on them to help people prepare themselves for vending experiences. A lot of times people want to vend and they're like, oh, I'm going to just pay this money and I hope I make back what I put in it. Or I just want to get myself out there. I just want to meet people. But they're forgetting some of the key things that make you successful at these events. Mm -hmm. One of them is preparation. The, the key thing is first, you need to have a business goal. Why are you attending these events? Ask yourself that before you sign up for something. Mm -hmm. Two, what is your sales goal? When you show up, how much do you want to sell? You know, maybe there's a new item that you've got. Maybe that's what you want to re represent that day. Mm -hmm. Or maybe there's something that hasn't been selling and you're really trying to get people to understand the value in it. Yeah. And, and if so, I want you to determine what you want to sell. How much money do you want to make that day? And right. if so, how many of those items do you need to sell to achieve that? So it's like really getting you to think on the front end before you sign up for this stuff. Are you doing your part for your business? Right. Are you referring other people? So you got a bigger network to work with. Are you um, being creative about what your space looks like when people approach? Is it presentable? You know, um, are you inviting them in to understand that not only do you want them to purchase something, but you want them to build a relationship with you so that that business relationship continues after the event, too? Yes. So I created a scorecard criteria for people to use to prepare themselves for the event. And a lot of people did really well. So you said you stay motivated. How? Keep talking. <laughs> keep talking. Gracious. Coach Man. my growth. Yeah. And anybody can be coached. <clears throat> I was coached the entire time time shout out to all my coaches mm -hmm. um people were teaching me as i was planning the event all the time like i was working with so many people um for example brianna mckintee she's my business development coach i took an ebay drop shipping course with her I started my own ebay site and i've already made almost 700 dollars in one month no so my right. coaches are teaching me too ricardo navarro he is our finance coach mm -hmm. i signed up for life insurance with him through northwestern mutual I have a whole life term life insurance policy that just started because of working with Ricardo. So I'm really, not only am I presenting you to my coaches, I'm using them too. You're using them too. Literally, we're all like coaching we're each other. Together, right? <laughs> that's the whole point, man. That's that's and that is like the dynamic that I think other people should like tap into is, you know, how can we make this work? Like it should be a community effort, yeah, right? So we should. It should. That's that's kind of. Right, I, 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 I gotta hit it. I gotta get these words on you, man. <laughs> we got our word segment. Oh my god, that's that's powerful. I, I love it. Y'all make sure y'all tap into that. But of course, y'all know we had our word segment. It's some personal words in here. We gotta pick. The, we definitely gotta pick the brain of you. <laughs> so you spin it three times. Okay. The words when they land on the word, you tell us what you think about this word. I'm nervous. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Say? Longevity. Longevity. Okay. <laughs> See um, why I didn't want you to look at the words? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. When I think of longevity, though, I think of legacy. Yes. So for me, I'm thinking for the long term, I want to impact people in a positive way. Yes. So um You already doing that. That's too. <laughs> so yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll sit down with you for no longer than 10 minutes already. 
you already embedded in my DNA, woman. Oh, uh, thank you. Shice. <laughs> but all right, let's get that second spin. Okay. I, I felt like it was more to that, but we, we go. <laughs> all right, let's get a hard spin on that one. All right, that's good enough. Money. Money. I need more of it. <laughs> <laughs> dollar, dollar bill, yo. <laughs> hey, I mean, at the end of the day, we all need money, right? Yes, so Lord. I think it's really just not letting the money make you at the end of the day. Mm. Get the money, but don't let it make you and make sure that you continue to give back what people are giving you. So I think people like in business should have a budget aside for how they're going to continue to contribute to the community, right? There should be a dollar amount, like all these clubs and bars and stuff, they take and take and take and people show up. They just want to forget about the things they got going on. So they go out, they try to have a good time just to have a moment where they're not thinking about all the serious stuff, right? Mm. So maybe club owners are now putting a budget aside to give back some of that money that people are spending because you pay a lot of money when you're going out to celebrate something. And not just the club owners, but anybody, you know, if you are a business and you're taking from people, give it back to, you know what I'm saying? So I think. Pay it for it. Yeah, pay that, pay it for it, man. Yep. I, I love seeing when people buy, like, like you in line at Starbucks and you buy the person behind you, they, they cup of coffee and they pull up and they like the coffee was on the driver. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. That just pulled off. Like that's dope energy. Like people need to be more like that. Yes. So. That's yeah. That's why you a podcaster right there. Cause you know how much it costs to pay for these lights. This is this is my product to pay it forward to people. Cause yeah. like, y everybody support my photography, my studio, and I, like I'm like I gotta do something for y'all. Y'all, yeah. y'all. That's how I feel about my podcast. Yeah, got, you know, I got entrepreneurs coming on, music artists. You know, people. You know, just wanting to speak they peace. Yes. You know, um, that's why it's minding my own. Like. Yeah. I mind my own business. Right. You know what I'm saying? But you hey. Mind your own business. <laughs> yes. At the end of the day. Your business. You're, mind your own LLC. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> All right. Let's get that third spin from you. Okay. Where we at? Where we? Felt like that oh, was a little back. weak. I could have did that let's one. Let's get our spin. Because I ain't even going to look at it. Let's get the, the Price is Right spin. Yeah. Oh, shoot. There we go. Oh, I did hear that. Click, back, click, back, click. <laughs> Family. Family, oh my God! You asked me what motivated me, right? Yeah, my family, man. Yeah, my family definitely motivates me. I got four shorties. Yeah. Um, and two of them, my oldest, she's nineteen. My son, he's fifteen, and then I got a ten-year-old and I got a five-year-old. And um, my oldest, she's just as much of a go-getter as her mama. Like, oh way yeah she's a you gonna say way after that big way <laughs> big way bro. Yeah. big way wow yeah she is amazing and she helps me at coach my growth right she um the first event she came and she helped to get people checked in and mm. she made sure mm. people knew where to go and stuff like that so the second one she helped me set up tables and chairs and you know she just she she controlled the music the whole event she was the the she was in charge of that and yeah clean up all that my oldest daughter she's i told her i said you like my amazing. right hand that's yeah. amazing if you yeah. say plant a seed and watch it grow <laughs> man that's the word segment with kinder <laughs> y'all yeah yeah here to coach my growth which i'm gonna be a part of real soon <laughs> I'm happy so to hear that. how you feeling about the experience thus far i love it yeah i love the experience um uh i know that it's that it's still something that i love because i still get nervous before i do it mm -hmm. and i still feel um i still want to perfect it and i still watch i ain't gonna it. put too much in the air though but you did kind of say that like i'm nervous I'm yeah nervous. <laughs> <laughs> i'm like you do this that's how you know you love what you do yeah for real i was just telling uh dj that on yeah. the pod like Man, when you start getting that anxious feeling, your throat dry, you like got a lump in your throat type <laughs> feel, man. Butterflies. That's going. how you know you love it. You love it. That's man. like a date. Like, you know, like I, I still love you. I'm still nervous around yeah. you. But this business stuff is it's a different different Beast. passion. It's yeah. a different love. Like yeah. you keep, keep 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 going though. Like you said about the experience. We were talking about the experience. Yeah, I mean I I like it. Um it gives me an opportunity to meet different people. 
Um, it also helps me to get people uh, to put their story out there, help them open up a little bit more. Um, one of my best, uh, my I would say my favorite parts is that I can actually take people from just seeing individuals as business owners and you can see them as human beings for real. Like, um, I, people forget that like, yeah, we, we do business, but we just like you, you know? Um, don't let that go over your head. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, yeah, I was gonna say that like business is it's an excuse for our for us for our introvert self <laughs> to yeah. get out to meet people because yeah. like if if you ain't in business, you just mean like Rudy Poots. You just mean people running around like yeah. and we be tired of that. Like yeah. if you especially if you a boss, like we be tired of that. Like <laughs> this business give us an excuse like to, to get out and meet people or, or meet like-minded people like man i know i'm way different than these i'm gonna say rudy poots again <laughs> rudy. <laughs> i don't know who came over who came over rudy poots like, i don't know rudy that, poots <laughs> like what is a rudy <laughs> poo? <laughs> what is a rudy poo but um it's like so like how do you juggle like all this like you you said you got how many mm -hmm. how many kids you got kids you got you got the hustle yeah you work yeah like how, how's, how are you doing this God, <laughs> just one Look, word, three if we, letters. If we could drop a bomb right now, it would have been dropped because yeah. it's God, man. That's every time I put effort into something, I know for a fact that I can't do it without God, without His love, without the energy mm. of God, and without being grateful. Let's do that on this good Sunday. Yeah, yeah, mm. absolutely, man. Yeah, wow. Man. Big ups to God. Um, I know it. I yeah. know he's done things for me and I know that I continue to thrive in my passions and I know that um, I continue to remain resilient and determined because of God. It's Man, it's been so many times I could have gave up. So many times I felt wore down. Sometimes, So many times where like, I felt like, oh man, you could just stop right now when nobody cares still early on. Yes. But it's like, nah, but you care. Like, don't you know it's it's the, the conversation sometimes you got to have with yourself and i call that self-reflection to get that inner peace and a lot of that just comes with you owning it and you know making sure you don't take all the credit for it because it ain't all you man and people who think it's all them it's like that's the people that listen it was god that that had us link in the trenches on yes. bird line which <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> buying shoes yes, yes. <laughs> and brought us right back together right. and right now you sitting here inspiring the hell out of me the heaven out of me you inspiring <laughs> no no you can't inspire the heaven out of me i mean you inspiring the hell out of me there we go <laughs> but yes man it's definitely god yeah. it's definitely god keep talking keep talking yeah you know what absolutely. like it's god so, so like so, what's what's been some of your what's some like challenges that you subdue like what what did you oh man the challenges is ain't nothing bigger than god that can handle but of, of course but you you got some challenges and i want to hear about them man full transparency full yeah. transparency i need man. it some of the challenges that I've had for 2023 while trying to create all these things. Well, not I'm not going to say trying because I'm trying to take that word out of my vocabulary. So yes, Lord. Um, all the things that I have been, pro, you know, uh, pursuing for 2023 and things that have happened, um, they have happened the way that they were supposed to. So I really think a huge part of the challenge is accepting your process. That has been one of my huge challenges. And I got to I got to say it. Is because a lot of the times you feel like you might need to be further along or you feel like you could have got more from an experience. But when you circle back to gratitude, circle back to giving thanks to God, then it brings you back to earth. Like, so I really feel like one of the biggest challenges is, and it's a huge challenge for a lot of entrepreneurs is accepting the process. So remember, always sit back and Instead of looking at what you don't got or how far along you feel like you should be and you are not, think about the top five things you accomplished when you actually put your best foot forward and you made your dreams start to happen. Think about that first. Um, I made a post the other day and I said, think positive. It takes a lot more energy for you to think positive than negative. I don't know if y'all notice it, but it's easier for you to think something negative Cause it's automatic. Yeah. It takes energy for you to stop and tell yourself, 
shut up. What are you, what are you saying? You can do this. Like, what? Like, you do got it. Wow. Like, don't wow. give up. Keep going. It takes way more energy than just sit there in a slump and feel bad for yourself. So, if you think positive, you're going to free your mind. Yes. And a lot of people need to free their mind. And that's really what it comes down to is don't even look at, oh, why they doing this better? How come they getting this and that? Don't even look at what everybody else going on. Trust your process. Your journey is the way it is because it makes you who you are. Accept that. If you want to be your best self, you got to accept your shit. Your shit is your shit. Yeah. You can't, you don't know what them other people have been through or nothing. Yeah. People be going through all type of stuff in the background. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. it's really like just handle your business. And and you'll be okay. You'll get through those challenges. I love that you be in in, in the sentences with business. Like you was not <laughs> fucking around at all. <laughs> she not but what she said too. You just definitely inspired me. So what, I have people stop messing with me because you podcasting my doing. podcast right now. Yeah. You don't even realize what you're doing right now. <laughs> I'm sitting here quiet. It was <laughs> the whole room's quiet. Like y'all heard that? It was like your podcast is dope too. By the Thank way, you. I love it too. So thank you. With that said, 2024. You did all this like I feel like it was like a a year. Yeah. That was all last year. This all happened this year. This year. Podcast this year. 2024 is scary. Man. <laughs> what? What you got but going on? But it's but it's not like, scary like like woo, but scary right. like man. It's, it's um it's one of those things where I know all good things is coming for 2024. Like, yes, Lord. Can't nobody tell me nothing else. Yeah. I know I'm putting in the effort. I know I'm putting in the work. I'm building the relationships. I'm giving good energy. I'm remaining true to myself. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think, like, man, remain true to yourself. Don't let nobody tell you it's a better way to do it or you should do it this way or that way. One of my other biggest lessons this year is letting somebody tell me how to do my own business. Don't ever let nobody tell you not a thing. I'm telling you that right now. I interviewed Ashley Stokes not that long ago on mm -hmm. Minding My Own Podcast. And she said, one of the things that you should not do is ask somebody for some advice on how to do your business. She said, that's one of the biggest mistakes people make is asking somebody else advice. Don't ask for no advice. You stick to the basics, you stick to the process, and you'll get the progress. But always put your own twist on it. Always have your own style on it. And don't ne never let somebody tell you, like, oh, you should do it like this because of what they experience. Yeah. Always make sure your you want to see the hate from somebody. Ask them man, for some advice. <laughs> I don't have people. I tell ask people me for advice to do, uh, that like, they fail. Yeah, because they tried it that way and it didn't work yeah, out. Yeah, you you got but it you on your. Told me I should do it that way. Like no, nah. no, nah, it's sad. It's that sad. Right. And my my twisted ass. Like I ask people for advice, knowing I'm not gonna. Because most of the times when you hear the no in it, yeah, like I'm the, I'm gonna take the take the meat, leave the bones type of guy. So like I I I hear it and I be like yeah okay okay all right okay <laughs> all right yeah all right for sure for sure bro I appreciate that <laughs> knowing I'm not gonna listen to nothing but it's probably like one word that stuck out that like yeah. you know what I'm saying because you know that you, uh, some some people would be like just just stop or you just don't, don't even fuck with them like I'm asking you for a reason because I trust you like yeah. of course we need people and stuff like that right. but yeah but you kind of spooled over what you got going on in 2024 like I know I know you got yeah. something lined up locked and loaded yeah well I'll tell you one thing um one of my podcasts will continue um and my goal for the podcast is to continue to bring more influential people on and I want to continue to do these type of collaborations with yeah. folks like yourself man yeah, you gotta bring me on that boy man, man. I gotta on, come on man. there man this was bridge this network come on like, this man. is crazy you know I would love to do something live so I mean if oh, you yeah. get it we yeah. should I would, I'm it would green that's green light that's that's nothing <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> That's do. great. Like additionally, what else we got going on with the, uh, the podcast? Coach my growth, Coach my growth, of course. Yeah. Um. Course. Um. I want to go to Madison next. So yeah. currently in the works of uh, trying to find a venue for that, mm -hmm. and still trying to get the team as strong as possible. So you got a theme yet? You said do I have a theme yet? Yeah. Um. I'm kind of. I'm. I'm leaning in the the, the realm of. Uh, that, the uh, leaning is like using the word trying. Stop playing with me. I'm, what I'm saying is like I have an idea. I okay, have an there idea. we go. There we go. Yeah. The youth. 
Ooh, we heard it. Y'all heard it first. On oh, best of the best, y'all heard it first. So, like, shout outs, like, yeah. shout, random shout outs. You you shouted out a couple of people, but like, give your give your, give your last minute shout out. Yeah. So, um, I'm also gonna, I'm just gonna shout out to to my support system, like my mother. She was at Coach My Growth. You just my snapped. mama bought something from everybody that you day. You just now, dude, shout it out, moms. <laughs> what? Yeah. Shout it out, moms. Yeah. Like you gotta love moms, man, for real. Yeah, I love her. Yeah, I love her. She's dope. Um, she listens. She gives. She gives a uh, solid feedback, mm. and she gives good critique. Mm. Um, she watches every single one of my podcast episodes. And she she tells me like I watch your episode, or she'll say I started, I ain't finished yet. I'm gonna finish the rest tonight. And she comments and all that. Like she's like my biggest supporter. Hashtag foundation. <laughs> yeah. Man, yeah. more shout outs. I know you got some more shout outs. <laughs> oh. Pull them shout outs out. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely, I want to shout out all the CMG team, all the coaches, and all the vendors who have participated and believed in my vision and took a chance on me. Uh, I can't do it without y'all. So I just want everybody to know, Kenda is somebody, but she can't accomplish everything by herself. And I know that for a fact. And I would never, ever, ever say that I did anything on my own. I did it with help. And y'all need to own up to when y'all need the help too. Because a lot of people would be afraid to ask because they too prideful. Let that pride go. Let that ego take a break. Mm -hmm. You know, it's a time and place for everything. And when you want something accomplished, and you know you got the right people in your corner to do it. You got to put that ego aside. And you got to sometimes let somebody else lead the way, you know, to get the things done that need to be done. So yes. everybody can't have their hand in the cookie jar at the same time. You got to pull out them things one at a time, yeah. you know. Or you got one person pulling out several to hand, to, hand out to everybody yeah. else. So that was dope analogy. <laughs> Jeez. So where, where can we find you at? Man, I'm on IG. Uh, find me um, on IG too, Kenda underscore Quammen. Um, Or you can find me at Minding My Own Podcast with Kenda. I'm on YouTube. And man, you can find me. You can find me. It ain't, it ain't hard to find me at all. So with the Coach My Growth or CMG, like you all just that. like just hit your page. Just and hit then... my page. If you want to email me, you can too. Uh, CMGprojects.collective at gmail. Um, if you have any questions or any inquiries about Coach My Growth, you can email me too. Facts, facts, facts. We kicking it with Kenda. Man, this has been informative. You came through and you said drop the bomb right Man. now. Like you came through, drop <laughs> bomb, drop God, drop growth, if you will. <laughs> All that right now is in this one being right here. <laughs> gracious, gracious, Man, man. so like, um, yeah, like we we kicking it with Kenda. That's that's I guess we could wrap this up because yeah. like this has been a formative. Because my brain fried for one, for, <laughs> for two, like that coached my growth, and then like how you how you babying and you got other people nurturing it, and and it's just it's just gonna continue to grow. And I Thank wish you nothing but prosperity and I appreciate and, it and growth. Can I say that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, fast, man. We kicking it with Kendall. I'm best of the best. Y'all make sure y'all go tap into that singer, songwriters, and producers competition that we got going on on best of the best TV.com. Additionally, we're on Roku. This is on Roku right now, too. The AR, no spaces. The AR on Roku. So we in front of 8 million people. So y'all make sure y'all tap into that. And again, we're kicking it with Kendall. Y'all make sure y'all go follow her. Tap into that Coach My Grove. Um, you say it's gonna be themed around the youth, which yeah. is beautiful. That's Thank beautiful. Y'all make sure y'all stay tapped in with that. And of course, I'm Sir Quinn with Best of the Best TV, and you already know. Shh, shut up and hustle. Yeah. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle. Shut up. Shut up and hustle.